Greetings. I would like to begin by saying that absolutely nothing that has happened this year, not the COVID-19 pandemic, not the closing of international borders, the disruption of mission travel, or any of the restrictions that have been imposed upon us to combat the virus, nothing, not one thing, came as a surprise to God. Our theme for this year is, for such a time as this. It's from a verse in the book of Esther in which Mordecai said, if you don't do anything at this time, relief and deliverance will rise from another place. And who knows whether you have not come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Now Mordecai's confession, who knows, is one all believers must make at one time or another. The Lord's hand is usually invisible to us, and when we take a step of faith, we are not certain whether we will succeed, even if the step we are taking is a godly one. Nevertheless, we must trust God and do what His Word tells us, even if we have been put into places of decision due to ambiguous circumstances. Let me share with you a story that began several years ago. Our organization, Living Water World Missions, was established as a legal nonprofit according to the laws of our country. Our express purpose is to share the gospel of Christ through the building of clean drinking water filtration systems in places that lacked access to clean drinking water. But our primary goal, as my friend Jim Pitkin has stated on many occasions, is to make the name of Jesus famous. The Lord opened the door for us to go primarily into Guatemala and led us to establish a series of long-term relationships with a multitude of churches, schools, orphanages, and medical clinics where we were successful in not only building clean drinking water systems for those communities, but also in sharing the story of Christ. Over time, our commitments grew to the point where we had to expand our operations and hire four of the most amazing individuals in Guatemala that you could ever imagine to assist us in the work in that country. Those four amazing individuals, Josue, Cecia, Gabby, and Eswin, are the backbone of all of our operations in Guatemala. A little more than three years ago, I felt that the Lord was telling us we needed to establish a separate nonprofit under the laws of Guatemala that could operate independently of our stateside organization. The process of doing so was time consuming and required quite a bit of thinking outside the box and education on the part of our board and our staff. But after many long months of effort, we were successful and Asociación Mission Mundial de Agua Viva Guatemala finally received its charter from the Guatemalan government. Now I will admit, that at first, I thought the primary benefit would for us to be able to ship replacement filters and other supplies in bulk into Guatemala as one nonprofit to another without having to pay tax or duty on those supplies. So, under the Lord's guidance, we started the process of building a supply chain to move filters in bulk and other system parts from the U.S. into Guatemala. Little did we realize at that time why God was leading us in this direction. Last January, our board met with our staff, who are also the board of the Guatemalan nonprofit, to plan our work for the coming year. We had a list of over 15 sites to consider for water system installations and many other things to plan for as well. Well, long story made short, our carefully considered plans kind of evaporated in March when international travel into Guatemala was curtailed. Not only that, but in Guatemala, draconian measures were put in place designed to combat the spread of the COVID virus. People could not travel from one department to another or even leave the city that they lived in. The entire country was locked down from Friday evening to Monday morning and a curfew from 4 p.m. to 7 a.m. on other days was rigidly enforced. All shopping, including for food, was restricted to the hours of 8 a.m. to noon. All the schools were closed, and so were all the churches. 
The government, anticipating that the country would soon be overwhelmed with COVID cases, decided to build a series of regional hospitals solely to treat COVID cases. And because the Lord had allowed our Guatemalan nonprofit to be established, the government was in a position to request help from the nonprofit to build clean water systems in those hospitals. Additionally, our staff received authorization for such a time as this to travel throughout the country not only to build the new hospital systems, but also maintain our existing water systems. Since we could not send teams carrying supplies into Guatemala, as we would normally do, we used the supply chain that the Lord had us develop for such a time as this to send a number of complete clean water systems, ones that you donated from the U.S. into Guatemala on an expedited basis to allow those hospital installations to take place. The president of Guatemala actually met with our staff as they were building the first hospital system. The president told our staff that they were the only nonprofit in the entire world that had been in position to quickly help Guatemala in this time of crisis. Today, I'm inviting you to join with us in continuing this work that the Lord has begun. This week, you will have the opportunity to give so that we can pay the salaries of our in-country staff for the upcoming year or help pay for some of the many replacement filters that will be needed or even help fund a new system for a new community in desperate need of one. We have a big task ahead of us, but with your help, and God's guidance, the job will not be too difficult. As Mordecai said, who knows whether you have not come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Thank you, and may God bless you for what you have done and for what you're about to do.